our reason for having this is because, you know, we are now the Center for Scholastic <coughs> Journalism, and as such, part of our mission is to be an advocate for student press rights and for advisors and working with teachers. And obviously, as we all know in this room, one of the biggest problems for them being effective or hindrances to them being effective is whether or not they have free student expression, whether, whether they're able to publish and produce the kind of things that they need to do. And so this is our first adventure into that, and obviously this is really important because of Mark being here and all of his background. And even though some of the things we may be talking about today are things some of us have talked about, we're hoping to be able to capture it uh, in video, have some of it on website, and let others be able to benefit from the kind of things that, that some of us in this room know and some of the things that we can discuss from it. Um, I want to introduce Jeff Fruit, who is our boss here and the director of the School of Journalism and Mass Communication, and wonderfully a very strong advocate of scholastic journalism. Jeff. Thanks, Candace. Uh, we're delighted you're here today. It's, it's great to have so many uh, champions of free expression here in the same room to help us go at this. You know, this, this was a topic that, that Mark talked to me about when, when he was still a candidate for the mm -hmm. job as the night chair here and said this is, this is one of the things that he said in, in his mind that really needed to get, get, get started in a much more substantive and comprehensive way and get done. And, and I was very pleased to see that, you know, still at the tail end of his first year here, here we are and we're, we're, we're going at it now. And also, that we were able to, to, to attract here today such a distinguished group. I mean, I, I've, I know a number of you, I know the kind of work that all of you have been doing in, in your own bailiwicks, and, and I think we've got a group here today that can really go at this and, and make some serious headway, because as you know, we, we know this is not a, this is, this is a chronic issue, not an acute issue. We know we're gonna be battling state by state, issue by issue, and, and I think, coming up with some of those strategies and tactics on how to start to attack that is, is a job that's, that's really worth doing. So, so welcome, I hope you get a chance to look through our facility today and, and really let's talk about ways that we can collaborate and make some things work here because that's, that's what it's all about. Thank you, Jeff. You know what's a good inspiration for that, Jeff? That, uh, in wake of Brandsburg versus Hayes, I think is the, the decision, the shield law effort went state by state to the point where it got 41 states, I think, right. today. And, I, and I, when I think of this effort, and uh, I think of it's, it's possible. You know, it takes time, but That's true. it's possible. That's true. Excellent point, Warren. Um, well, you know, let me echo Candace and, and Jeff's welcome to all of you. We're just so thrilled you're here, especially in this um, challenging weather environment um, that we're in. I, just a couple of logistics to go over here fairly quickly. First, you'll notice that um, we've got um, um, folks capturing what goes on today. Um, we, we have both our um, grad assistants who are taking notes for, for um, um, you know, print content or, or actual stories, but also video. Our goal is sometime by early spring to have posted a fairly complete website that will include, you know, video, audio, um, and text clips of what goes on here today as a resource.